Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit and today we will be diving in, into the world of Salesforce Einstein bot. So I'm going to start a new tutorial series in Salesforce and the topic is Salesforce Einstein bot. So let's try to understand what Salesforce Einstein bot is, what's the use of Salesforce Einstein bot and how do we configure Einstein bot in Salesforce. So Einstein bot is an intelligent chatbot solution powered by Salesforce AI technology. It is designed to enhance customer service and these bots can handle routine inquiries, streamline operations and provide instant support around the clock. So Salesforce Einstein bot is a, uh, that helps automate and enhance customer interaction within the Salesforce platform to engage customers in natural language conversation. It's a conversational tool powered by the AI of Salesforce. And this tool enables businesses to develop and deploy the chatbots in various business processes that involve real-time customer engagement. In this video, we will explore how Einstein bot works, how do we set up, how do we configure Einstein bot. Now, what are the use cases for Einstein bot or what are the key features of benefits of using bots? So the chatbots can immediately answer specific questions for customers to make them happier. Uh, bots can gather free chat information to save agents time and also handle routine requests and free agents to handle more complex issues. Chatbots can answer almost all the questions that prevent cases from moving further to get addresses by a live agent. This reduces the number of cases that are being raised. And the fourth, by utilizing the ability of NLU, natural language understanding technology, Einstein bot works on self-learning and evolving to expand their intelligence and functionality. Let me give you an example of chat bot. You might have, uh, you might have visit, let's suppose, uh, you might have experienced this by yourself on many portals, on many websites or shopping carts you visit, there is a live chat option available. And when you click on that live chat option, you will get a series of questions coming up over there. And based on the questions you ask or based on your input, the, you will get the response. Uh, many times, the, uh, many times the answer you will be getting, those answers will be coming from based on the prior experience or based on the prior, uh, based on the pre-existing databases. So in short, chatbots is an uh, auto-made chatting, which can be used by organization in order to reach out maximum customers because if thousands and hundred thousands of customers, they will be connecting to the company. It would be very difficult for every support agent to, uh, to reach out to the customers, to connect to the customers and respond them to solve their issues. Uh, without, uh, without using chatbot, the customer, they might need to wait for the agent to get free. And once the agent will be available, then only then, then only the agent can help you or entertain you. Whereas when we use chatbot, in chatbot, we don't have to wait for the agent and we can get the answers of our questions quickly without waiting for the agent until and unless any serious issue doesn't come up. So these are the benefits of using bots. And these things make Einstein chatbot so special. Uh, as you can see, conversation repair, fewer classes, fewer cases for employee, 24 by seven availability, lead generation, evaluate your bots, delay bot response, better understanding and transferring of bot conversation. So these are the things which make bot unique. So let's have a look. How do we set up an Einstein bot in Salesforce? What are the steps we need to follow in order to set up an Einstein bot in Salesforce? And how do we start? And once, the, once we start the endpoint or once we set up the Einstein chat bot, how do we test it? So we'll be going to do a small use case for that. So in order to do this, the very first step is we need to register for our Salesforce developers account. 
and as you can see i am already in, into my salesforce developers account now before setting up einstein bot it's very important to enable the chat with the uh, it is very important to enable the chat so either you can enable chat now or we can enable chat later on also while setting up einstein bot so how do we set up chat that uh, you can go through my previous videos for that uh, in this case i will be going to set the chat by using directly from the einstein bot so in today's session we'll see how do we enable an einstein bot so in order to do this in, uh, you have to navigate to setup home and search for einstein and look for einstein bot and when you click on einstein bot it will redirect you to a window where it says so as you can so as you can see this is an einstein bot and right now we haven't configured any einstein bot yet this is the very first time we are going to set up so first of all we have to turn on this einstein bot so i just enable this einstein bot and uh, authorize my company to accept these terms and click on try einstein so uh, i have activated the einstein bot and now i am ready to enable i am ready to set my first einstein bot in salesforce now in order to set up the einstein bot once we set up an einstein bot in salesforce uh, there are few there are three main properties of an einstein bot which we need to understand first is dialogues second is entities and third is variables so these are the three main properties of einstein bot basically the salesforce einstein bot is automatically fitted with a tools that help create exceptional bot experience uh, there are custom dialogs with a welcome message and a pre built main menu, uh, main menu there are system dialogs that help the uh, that help close bot conversation or transfer to an agent there are entities and variables to capture customers input with the correct formatting and the final is the bot anal analytics to measure the performance so we will be going to discuss all these main properties of einstein bot in depth one by one in uh, uh, in in different uh, in different videos in different parts but first of all as you can see i have already enabled my einstein bot and it's my it's time to set my first bot now if i want to check the existing templates so right now as you can see i haven't set any bot yet but if i want to see the bot templates we click on bot templates and here you can see there is a there is an existing template which we can have a look so if i click on this bot template here is an option uh, that's a system one standard and we can set up our own template here bot blocks so here are the bot blocks in order to add case comment block agent transfer block close uh, case close block create case apart from these we can create our own blocks as well so i'm going to set up my own bot so i i uh, just click on create a new bot i click on create a new bot here i'm going to select the standard bot standard bot uses connection for routing click on next here we have to start from the scratch because i want to start my bot from scratch so get started fast with included system dialogs so i select the start from scratch step number 2 next here we have to specify the bot name so i'll just want to give my bot name as ai tech one bot and the language is primary language is english so it will appear like this hi i am ai tech one bot a digital assistant assistant click on next uh as you can see there are some pre defined menu if you want to change the welcome message we can check it from we can change it from here that's a welcome message and what are the top actions your customer want to take each action is made into a dialog when you further customize the task these dialogs are added to the main menu automatically for example i just wanted to add my first menu as uh let's say add register new account that is the first menu second i want check account details and third one register a case or uh, yeah register a case or let's say not register a case i just say register a new opportunity 
that depends do you want uh, only three menu items or more so we can add more menu items later but right now i'm going with the three register new opportunity click on next uh, the service option we can skip this for a time being right now i skip this and here we have to finally click with proceed custom dialog system dialogs and bot analytics to help major perform so once it is finalized and set up we can click on finish and you can see it automatically redirect us to the bot builder so we are on a bot builder right now and in this bot builder we can see the bot so these are the components that's a register one register new account so these are the menus we added check account details register new opportunity it was clearly mentioned whenever we create uh, for every menu a new uh, a new uh, uh, a new component will be added that's a new dialogue you can say that's a welcome message here you can see i click on welcome i am i am ai tech one a digital bot assistant and it will start another dialogue which is a main menu and when we click on main menu when we click on main menu here is a main menu register new account check account details and register new opportunity if you want we can edit or delete this so i just click on welcome now i just this is my simple bot i don't i'm not going to do any configuration right now i just wanted to test it so in order to test it i simply click on activate and now it's time to preview this so when we click on preview i just say rich content preview but as you can see initially in order to preview this we have to set up a chat now how do we set up a chat click on set up chat uh forget, no don't worry about this error simply close that and we will be going to set up a new chat here chat with customer so uh, let me start again one thing i need to do here So as you can see here, when I click on set up chat, I'm getting this option chat with customer instantly. I click on start. Uh, let me give a new, uh, few names. So I give customer support, and it says it's already available. So I just write here AI Tech One Support. That's a name and name of this group. So let's sub. Uh, I'll give this name as Support Group. That's a name. I'll just put my name here. and this will be the user because i am an administrator and i am i'm also a chat user okay i'm also a chat user let me show you when i go to users when i go to user and i edit my details you can see i am a chat user therefore i mean uh, my name is coming up here click on next uh that's fine create a routing configure click next to because i have already configured previously so that's why i keep it as one next here you have to leave it as it is click next website url where you want to put chat on your website so i'm going to put my i'm going to put this chat on my website portal so i will be using here https www.aitech1.com click on next and here the type of customer so sales link chat with lead service or just contact link chat only with the contact so i'm going with this option uh, let's suppose i select just contact link chat with only contacts so click on next offline support I leave it as it is next and finishing this up this is a code and what you can do you can copy paste this code and uh, Uh, you can copy paste this code and add this code on your customer portal website or if you can add this uh, you can add this code on your company website so it, it will open a chat for you click on next and done so you can see my chat is ready i'll click on welcome and now when i preview rich content preview as you can see i'm getting a message called hi AI Tech One, a bot digital assistant. Uh, okay. So just in case, okay, and don't forget to the uh, don't forget to activate this. One thing also I want to configure before we start this and what's that? I'll deactivate this first. And here I just switch to overview. 
And just to get the more updated review, I'm using basic chatbot user bot performance action. So I activate this customer chatbot and for a particular user. So I'm just adding my name. I'm an administrator here. So this updated successfully bot updated successfully bot user. Each bot has a bot user whose profile and settings determine what the bot can access or do. If your bot action require additional license or features, field service. So as Sumit, because I or no, I register as a Sumit and I am an administrator, so I got full permissions with all the objects. Then I switch back to dialogues and activate it. And let's preview this. So if you are not able to see the rich preview, you can go for the text preview also. And in text preview, I'll just type in hello, enter, and you can see I will got I'll get a message from the bot. So as you can see, hi, I'm AI Tech One at Bot Digital Assistant. Now I can just proceed a register new account, check account details, register new opportunity, and as on my input, it will proceed further. But for the register new account, we haven't we haven't added any di further dialogues. We haven't get uh, we we did not configure for anything anything else in order to get input or in order to get account details or register new opportunity. So this we will be going to do in our next video. So that's how we bought work. That's how we configure and set up a bot in Salesforce. That's how the uh, that's how do we configure Einstein bot in Salesforce. That's all for the day. That's all in this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned as we uncover the power of Salesforce Einstein bot and how it can transform your customer interaction in coming session. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.